Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign and today we're going to go over your first steps in EVE Echoes. Now the final test is finally here and we'll be doing a lot of testing over the next week and there'll be a lot of testing back and forth from a lot of different people so we'll have a lot more information. And this video is your first steps in EVE Echoes if you are looking to make your money from ratting. Please make sure to like and sub if you haven't already and if you would like to go the extra mile we do have a Patreon set up, link in the description. So let's get into the video. Some of you have an idea of what you want to do and some of you have no idea what you'd like to do. This series of short guides will go over different aspects of how to make ISK in EVE Echoes. Please remember everything is subject to change at any time during development and through updates after launch, but I will update any guides with changes as they come. A group of us have been testing the game for localization over the past couple of weeks and in this time we have been able to test out many mechanics, some more than others, as it has been such a short time so I'll try to go into as much detail as possible. So rats being the shortened version of pirates, the pirate faction NPCs in anomalies and in asteroid belts, ratting is going around and killing them for bounties and or loot. Simplest way to describe it. Now as always in Echoes range is king and the shortest version of this guide if you want to be easy mode just fly Kaldari ships with missiles nothing else will ever compare. Work to get into the Korax trainer through the advanced tutorials and own some tier 1 to 5 anomalies. You'll be making between 300 and 400k is per tick. Once you have cheesed enough rank 5 wrecks and got enough data cores, you will want to create a caracal blueprint through reverse engineering another guide on that soon. And just AFK rat to your heart's content. I say AFK, you still need to manually target the rats as there is no automation for this. You can automatically press a button, it will grab as many as you can, but there's always more than the amount of targets you can lock. But it's very simple. If you have a bit of extra cash, I will personally start up a second account or a second character if you're not going to want to use missiles in PvP and just have that account as a ratting alt and specialize your main how you want no matter what happens missiles will be the king of pve as it has been for as long as i can remember in eve online the same can also be said for drones but they are much harder to get into and as you actually need to build these through gathering the bps from scout anomalies something new to eve echoes now that they weren't currently in the old beta and gathering the PI to make these. Also the fact that drones are now secondary weapons in the mid slots, no longer high slots, and only the civilian drones are available on the market means you will need to also skill another weapon to maximize your DPS. Although drone DPS is pretty damn good on its own. Now with the easy mode out of the way, let's get into something that will be more interesting for players who don't want to fly Kaldari, who don't want to have something as boring as missiles. If you want an actual challenge and you love everything to be gold and holy, the Amar is a hard start. The Mimitar also have a similarly hard start, but they have less trouble with the rats in their region of space. Now at the beginning of the test, we could farm tier 6 larges in coercers with Mark 3 gear, but that soon changed with some combat fixes that made it almost impossible to do anything above tier 3 with the current tank and range of the MR ships and their weapons, especially against the Blood Raiders. We were getting shredded and I do not recommend doing this straight away. You can cheese some wrecks by warping in a range and just waiting for the frigates to get to you, kill them, loot the wrecks if they drop and warp to the next site. Completely skip the cruisers unless you have at least 22 kilometers plus, especially on Blood Raiders, they'll bleed your holier than thou bodies. You can just range cheese them. Without medium lasers, this is almost impossible with small beams having around 12 kilometer range at lasers four, and small pulse having about a five kilometer range at the same level. Now saying that, this is only with small ships frigates and destroyers. But as we know, destroyers are not really meant for PvE, they are more of a PvP boat. Once you get into cruisers by either buying the Omen trainer or building the Omen yourself, things become very much easier. This is also true for the stabber. But at this current stage in the game, rats still hit very hard and it's not until you start getting faction items from inquisitor sites or scout sites that you will start to actually feel comfortable in the game ratting. Obviously, unless you roll missiles. But once you do get these, you really start to feel godlike and hitting those 1 million to 3 million is ticks by the end of week one. My advice for growth, grab a mega combo, cognitive free, don't put anything in your queue, just build that SP up. Grab a second account to mine. You can get a venture trainer through the advanced tutorial and collect PI, which can also get rank three of this skill through the advanced tutorial. Once you have your cruiser built, which will be around day three to five, depending on how long you have to play, you splash all your accumulated SP into cruiser skills. Now you can do this with destroyers. You can put three or four points in the destroyer skills. It doesn't take too much time and it doesn't take away from you being able to put it into your cruiser skills too heavily. 
because you do need the isk to actually build ships now there's some ships that are much higher isk cost in industry but you're looking at about 1.7 million for the omen you will need to cheese the wrecks as mentioned before and do some low level inquisitor sites mainly in high sec to gather data calls to create the bp for the omen or stabber if you want to do all in a single account just go missiles and kaldari ships and go face roll garistas as they are completely easy mode all in all the changes to the ratting has made it very hard to farm a lot early on for a lot of people unless you jump straight to cruiser then it's easy mode for me these changes are great as there won't be gajillions of isk week one but there still will be a good amount but i can see how this would not be liked by others it's not going to be as easily jumped into and there's been a lot of complaints from other content creators and also people who are in the testing of the localization and that's basically what i believe you should be doing week one when it comes to ratting and making big cash money straight away hopefully they tweak it a little bit to make it easier for me to earn isk it would be very nice but i can deal with the fact that i do have to do a little bit of work at the beginning i hope you enjoyed the video and found this useful please let me know down below if there are any particular guides or videos you would like in the future like and sub if you haven't already fly safe and avoid local chat scams